All right, so I wanted to make a follow-up video. So um, I have gone on from the last video, and I'm working in the price checker template that I created for Amcrest, which is the one that I just made a video on. And I have uh, I, I made I made a slight change, and I'll, I'll tell you why I made this slight change. So. You know, th this column right here actually prior to this is like the product uh, number, I think. Something that would be derived from the company itself. I, I made the decision just on this one, which is totally fine, as it does not impact anything that relates to price checker spitting out the, uh, the appropriate information. But I was finding it very challenging to identify the right product. So if you remembered from the video you just watched, I pulled, uh, what did I pull? Uh, 49 products. Now, to go through and search all 49 products, I just knew was not efficient, and I knew it was not something I needed to do because there are certain products like these two here, you know, they're, they're not making a whole lot. They're not bringing in a whole lot, and, uh, you know, I, I just, I, I kind of ignored them, and I moved on, and I wanted to get a large picture. Now, if I go back in the end and end up filling it in, I'll make that decision, but I went off of the estimated revenue uh, on Amazon. So I went through my, my sheet here, uh, where is it? Right here. And uh, this was the, the ASIN inspector pull that I did that you guys saw. And I just went down and I looked at the estimated revenue exactly in order. I said, all right, that's good. Uh, this is good. Uh, good, good. And I just highlighted them. And then what I did is I copied this entire column and I dropped that in uh, exactly at, you know, as I had done all the other columns before. I went ahead and just dropped it in here. I changed it to estimated revenue. And that way, I, I identify products that instead of going through everything and taking twice as long, you know, I tried to filter it down. So now what I've been doing is I've figured out, uh, you know, the best way to, to not only fill the information out, but, but what I had to do was I had to figure out, and this is something you'll have to do, using the company's website over here, you know, you've got to figure out how to find these particular products. And it's kind of like a... A hide and seek game, you know, where they're somewhere on the website, but it's just a matter of finding them. Um, first, I started by, uh, as you saw, copying and pasting the entire product title. Then I realized as I went down that, you know, there's a lot of different, especially on some of these, you know, there, there's a lot of useless information in the product description that, that didn't match up with. Uh, the company's website. So I realized that I had to find an easier, simpler way. Um, I started to notice that in every single one of uh, one of these titles, they actually contain Amcrest uh, equivalent to like an item number. All right, and it's actually this number right here, and they all have them uh, in some form or fashion. All right, IP2M right there. Uh, this one right here. Uh, where is it? This one has this uh, ATC uh, 1201. Right? Those are basically Amcrest uh, defining numbers or their coding system. It's their item numbers. So I realized that I don't have to copy all of that because, see, I was copying these cameras and I was finding, you know, four different options because of different colors or um, different styles and I was I was having a hard time of identifying you know okay I've got to find this exact product so that I can get an accurate portrayal of what the pricing is if I miss it and I have the wrong pricing then we're gonna waste money and we, we cannot afford that as as you know I've, I've said many many times so I started to realize that I didn't need to copy this entire cell in this case, all I needed to do was to copy this, all right? So um, I just did this one down here. Well, let's see, where is it? I just did, no, let's see. I'm going to pull it up for you. So I got down to this one, and I said, okay, here's the number I'm looking for, and the color, too. The, colors, the color is definitely important. And I went back to the store, and I typed in there. I just copied and pasted it in, and I searched it, all right? And then it came up first thing. It's the only option. And it gives me the pricing too, $67.99. All right. So I know that this is one unit. This is the case size still, if we remember the case size. It's just, again, how many are we selling of these things? All right. It's these all so far. 
happen to have been whoa happen to have been one so man all right so one and then it's 67.99 all right so this is the next one so let's find in here this is the long product uh, item kind of description it's basically just their system their internal numbering system uh, that shows uh, you know differentiates the product so this one is 296 I'm, I'm making sure right now that this matches up over here uh, and it does it's a AB 8 channel 1 terabyte 1 TB 1 terabyte HD DVR security system uh, DVR security system so that that matches up so um, I've got one one is the case uh, this is 296.99 99 I type that in there and that looks like a good one uh, I'm curious to see if it's if it'll make it all the way to the end or not but uh, but who knows uh, this one's got a couple oh I see so this one is an extension cable so in this case you've got to be careful you've got to really pay attention right this is an extension cable that fits all of these different versions so what I'm gonna do here I'll just copy this whole thing and let's see if it comes up. Copy, um, paste. You know, also, as you look over here to the left, so it didn't bring it up. So let's go and look. Let's look at cables and accessories because this is a cable. So let's see if we can find it. Cables and accessories. This is, let's remind me, this is an extension cable. It's a 10 foot white extension cable. Those all appear to be black, but let's see. Aha, uh -huh. so this is interesting. So let's type in and filter it even more. 10 foot extension cable. Let's see if it comes up and it's hidden. Aha, uh -huh. so I was probably looking somewhere in the wrong section. It wasn't under cables and accessories for some reason. It was kind of hidden. So five volt, only 10 foot. Let's see, do we have any more information? Extension, well, let's go ahead and click on this I'm not I'm not quite sure but here's the thing check this out so these are all the extension cables they're all 10 feet if you notice they're all the same price so I know enough now to where I can put in one they're all the same price I don't need to go any deeper I can put in the price there at 11.99 all right um, and as you can see this is probably an item that's an old item uh, this would not obviously fit. Look at the pricing. This is the buy box price, $9.99. This is $11.99. So this would, again, probably not be something. So what I'll do is I'll continue to go down this list. Um, something like this. I'll continue to go down the list. Uh, something something like this one right here. You know, I don't, I don't see the numbering system. No big deal. Let's, I'll copy that. I'll go over here, paste it in. Let's see what comes up. Boom. There we go. Good deal. All right. So that actually pulled it up right the first time. So I need just to make sure this is dome IP dome. Here's another number that I'm kind of looking for to compare. It's black. We know that. So four eight hundred plus TVL. Let's see. Can I find that? Oh, here we go. Four eight hundred plus TVL. Sixty five foot. Let's look. Uh, weatherproof cameras. Black. Uh, okay. Let's see. Now there is a difference here um, between the pricing, so we we can't assume uh, we cannot assume specifically that this is this is the right one. Um, let's see. What else can I find that will help me? Dome TVL Dome IP9 cameras. Amcrest 960H. So these are all 960. I don't see dome. Now, what's the price here? Two, two, two hundred twenty-four ninety-nine. Okay, so my guess is, unfortunately, any of these could be could be the right one. So we just need to make sure that uh, we're sorting through them the right way. Okay, so uh, this one requires a little bit more research on my part. Um, you're you're probably already thinking, how can you do it? Well. The easiest way right now is to let's go to Amazon. Okay, let's go directly to Amazon. Uh, look up the ASIN. All right, so let's look up the ASIN. 
and let's look let me see if I can find more information and compare this all right so I've searched it in on Amazon all right dome IP66 weatherproof cameras by Amcrest let's click on it so I'm looking right now to figure out can I find out more information about this all right to where I know that I can I can compare so let's just look at the picture a lot of times the picture is exact same all right let's look at the camera what is a camera so you look here see these camera types all right this is the camera type here okay that's my that's my number one thing I've already figured it out based on that because I'm looking for that type of camera if you notice there's only one picture that looks like that all right let's make sure there are four four yep so I found it so it's 206.99 all right one set one set 206.99 okay <clears throat> All right, so good. So we'll move on. So just notice you're you're gonna have to be very detail oriented in doing something like this. They won't be this this complex or or, or step oriented, but uh, it's extremely important that you kind of you you both be very investigative and make sure that you take your time. Um, you use all the resources. You have to think very analytically. Uh, when you're looking at something like this, uh, it can be accomplished. This is why a lot of people would shy away from selling on Amazon because they're not willing to do work just like this that we all have to be willing to do. All right. Any questions? Just let me know.